It depends on when you're awake. So if you sleep in really late on Saturday, you'll miss the chance of rainfall and then Saturday afternoon will be nice. So we do have a little hiccup in the forecast, but I don't see it being a huge problem. Here's a live view. This uh, yesterday was gorgeous. This morning, not too bad. A little cool in the 40s and 50s, but we're headed back to the 70s today. We'll have sunshine with a few clouds, and then if you are going to be out this evening, still in the upper 60s and low 70s. So really, really nice day to be out and about. And then as I mentioned, tomorrow we got a little rain in the forecast. Now, if you're planning your Saturday. You don't need to cancel anything, I don't think, but there are probably going to be some showers and maybe a downpour or two tomorrow morning through around midday and mainly south of the lake. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is tomorrow morning before you wake up. Some clouds building in right around sunrise. Could see some showers, maybe even a thunderstorm near the coastal areas. And then it's possible we see a few of these showers try to lift a little further to the north, approaching even the metro. But notice a lot of this stays south of the lake, and a lot of it really stays just off in the Gulf of Mexico, at least the worst of it in the Gulf of Mexico. But I do have about a 40% chance of showers through tomorrow morning. Look at the afternoon. Sunshine comes back. We dry out, and tomorrow afternoon and evening, alert really nice. Beautiful Sunday will be sunny and dry next week. Here we go again. Almost like clockwork. Last Tuesday we had a severe weather uh, event yesterday or rather Wednesday we had a severe weather event. Guess what? It looks like we might have another severe weather event either late, late Monday and early Tuesday or late Tuesday. So for now we'll just kind of split those differences in timing and say somewhere around Tuesday there's going to be a threat for severe weather. And notice we're already highlighting it for a level two out of five. Very similar to what we saw last week and this week. Not saying it's going to play out the exact same, but there are some indications that we could see some strong storms by about Tuesday of next week. It's April. It's our severe weather season. This is not out of the complete norm. It's just been a pretty active period and that has happened in the past. But just a reminder that you got to be ready this time of year as we do get storms. One thing we could use is a little bit of rain. We are still very dry. The drought continues to increase uh, across the state. We now have a extreme drought for our coastal areas up through the Bayou parishes and up around Baton Rouge. The city, the river parishes are all in a severe drought and then even on the North Shore, you've got a moderate drought. So we need a little bit of rainfall. We're heading into to, of course, our uh, spring months where we do start to traditionally get a little bit more rain, but really our summer months are when we pick up the majority of our rainfall around here, whether it be from an everyday afternoon pop up storm or, of course, tropical events. We'll start talking about that pretty soon in the next couple of months. So your seven day forecast, not expecting severe weather tomorrow, but definitely some showers around mainly south of the lake in the morning. The afternoon looks drier, 79 and sunny on Sunday, and the next week we start to warm up. But remember, anytime we warm up this time of year and have rain in the forecast, it is probably going to come with a threat for some stronger storms. And right now it looks like we could see some of those stronger storms by Tuesday. So we'll be keeping an eye on that for you into next week.